So you've seen this guy grow a lot. I have, yeah. A lot of changes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's you've seen this still... girl grow a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, we're, I mean, we're, we're tremendously proud of the girls. And, you know, we, but we've also looked to take advice from people that had great outcomes with their kids. And I think sometimes yeah. we don't evaluate the fruit on the tree. Yeah. And so that's been big for us. Even lifestyle-wise, you know, I think sometimes when you want an outcome that may, may require creation of some wealth, it's very easy to get focused on the wealth part and not the lifestyle part when you yeah. look at who you're taking advice from. Right. And so, you know, we, we really looked for the 100% solution. We call it living our life in one room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of the time individuals, you know, they build a life where, you know, like work them would never want their kids to meet work them. They're almost like mm -hmm. two different people in these different environments mm -hmm. or three or four different people. You know, we just wanted to be able to live, be the same human being, no matter what environment we're in. And that was the value system we were chasing. Yeah. So. So yeah, so that's, you know, what the girls have experienced and seen us fail consistently and still, you know, to this day, we mm -hmm. fail a lot, but what's been really rewarding is watching, I um, watching their character development, you know, mm -hmm. like, I mean, I love the fact that both the girls are not turning their passions into prisons, yeah. um, mm -hmm. which is really easy to do. I think in, in today's day and age where, you know, people are saying, follow your passion and, and make an income out of it. I'm like, well, that's great. If that's for the next 45 years of your life and you're chasing a middle-class income that, or middle-class outcome, yeah. which there's nothing wrong with, by the way, sure. that's totally fine. If I was going to do something for 45 years, I'd better like some part of it. Whereas, you know, maybe if, if you're, you're trying to condense that process a little bit, mm -hmm. um, you know, by, by being a little more outside the box so that then you can pursue your life on whatever terms you want. Then all of a sudden those, those passions can, if they make money, that's great, but at least you're not forced to make money at them. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I think can take the joy out of it.